The Black Hawk War was a series of conflicts between the U.S. militia and the Sauk Native American tribe in 1832. These events happened around the Mississippi River. So this is just a map of where most of the main events happened in the Black Hawk War. You can see the Mississippi River, the thick river, running through these red circles. Each of the red circles have um, a name in them, and those names are the main events that happened in the Black Hawk War. And you'll see at the top of the screen is Lake Michigan, which shows that that, that this is where a um, modern day Chicago is. Blackhawk's real name was Nutch. He was born in a native village called Sakanuk, where his tribe lived for hundreds of years happily. The white Mormon settlers came to live in the Native American territory. This created disputes between them, but they tried to live peacefully as much as they can. Some of the differences in these cultures were that the natives did not believe in ownership of land, but the settlers bought and sold land. The natives trusted spoken words, but the settlers used writing to keep promises. In 1780, Sokhnuk tribe sided with the British army against the U.S. during the Revolutionary War. As a retaliation, the U.S. burned the Sokhnuk village and Nitch's family were killed in this process. His own brother was beheaded by the U.S. militia. Nutch, or Black Hawk, witnessed all of this happening when he was only 12 years old. Sauk and Fox signing the 1804 treaty. In 1804, Governor of Illinois made a negotiation with some Sauk and Fox leaders and led them to believe that signing the treaty will promise them fertile land to farm. But later, it turns out that the treaty meant that they had to cede all of the native territory east of the Mississippi River to the U.S. In 1828, natives were given one month's notice to leave their land. In 1829, the natives felt powerless and went across the Mississippi River to live by the Iowa River. Black Hawk and his people returned to their homeland in 1832. 400 warriors and more than a thousand women, children, and elders made a long journey back to their homeland, Sakhnuk, looking for fertile land to farm. The governor of Illinois, Reynold, called the army thinking that Black Hawk came to start a war. Black Hawk intended to surrender, but every time he tried, the U.S. militia opened fire on them. Black Hawk had to fight back in order to protect his people. Black Hawk wanted to lead his people back to safety across the Mississippi River. On August 1st, when a band of 500 native men, women, and children tried to cross the Mississippi River, the U.S. militia opened fire on them and killed about 400. On August 27th, Black Hawk surrendered. Black Hawk and his band were put on display for Easterners to gawk at. Ironically, this made him very famous and popular. He lived for the rest of his life promoting a peaceful way of living. Black Hawk died on October 3rd, 1838 by his wife and children in his home by the Iowa River. Here's a really nice illustration of Black Hawk when he was older. 